Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my super quick, easy, mommy-friendly makeup look that I like to do. I have definitely changed when it comes to makeup. It's very rare that I do something really intense on my eyes or whatever. A lot of you know if you've been following me for a while that I love base. I love my base to be like flawless and then everything else I'm like, whatever so I'm pretty much the same way but I don't get to really do like smoky eyes or things like that or like the fall makeup tutorial that you saw in my last video loved that but it's very rare that I have the time to do that anymore I'm gonna show you guys my super easy quick go to get my skincare on get my makeup on and get my little happy self out the door or just downstairs to Mason because <laughs> I don't have a lot of time and honestly this is a routine that I take with me as well so I always either have this makeup bag or I honestly just take my compact we'll be using the makeup forever matte velvet skin powder foundation and normally I'll just put this in my bag for example I went to the hair salon did not have time to do my makeup in the morning so I took this compact I took um, a brow powder set and that was it. My makeup has been like something that I need to be on the go, easy, full coverage, basically just all the good things. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it really quickly today because I get a lot of questions. And then I want to do a full video soon showing you guys like all my new favorites. Like um, I have a bunch of different foundations, different face products that I've been loving. And I would love to share that with you guys. So if you wanna see that, let me know in the comments. Also, did you guys notice I went a little darker with my hair? I mean, I can tell it's darker, but can you? I really like it and honestly I wouldn't be you know shy to go a little bit darker remember the old dark brown Casey Holmes days oh my gosh that hair this hair when I first saw it like gave me the old school vibes and I was like oh wow so long ago <laughs> I'm gonna quit blabbing on we're gonna go ahead and get started I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that post notification bell that way you're notified every time I upload and yeah let's just go ahead and get started the first thing I'm going to do is really important. I'm going to do my skincare and I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Basically, I just want my skin to be really nice and moisturized. Lately, my skin's kind of going through like it's oily, but like a little bit dry on my forehead. So I'll show you guys what I use. I'm going to be putting on the Belief Eye Balm. This is the moisturizing eye balm. And this is so good. I've used this for a really long time. And if you follow me for a while, you know I've repurchased this quite a few times. It's just one of those amazing products that I love to have. It just feels so good. Like my, It just cools that under eye area and really moisturizes and I take it all the way back out. And then what I like to do is take this Tula Skincare Beauty Sleep Overnight Repair Treatment. This is something that I like to use when I feel like my skin just needs a little bit more moisture. This is pretty intense. It's an overnight sleeping mask, but I like to use it during the day sometimes because I just, sometimes I just need a little extra hydration. I'll just do a little bit of this and I'm gonna put it all over my skin. Just a nice light layer, nothing crazy because we're trying to have this makeup on all day. The next step that I do is I put on a concealer. I'm gonna be using the Benefit Boy Ing. Is it Boing? Boing concealer? I don't know. It's the Cakeless Concealer. It's really good. This one's in the shade number five, so it's a little bit closer to my skin. I like to use this to just go underneath my eyes and around my nose, just where I'm like super, super red, because my skin's kind of going back and forth recently, like ever since having Mason. Like some days it's really red, some days it's not. And then I'm just gonna quickly blend that out. But this helps cover all my dark circles. We need that. I don't think I ever really noticed having dark circles before until I became a mom. And then I'm like, oh, there it is. There's my dark circle. So I'm just going to tap this in really quickly. I think this is a Morphe sponge. I'm not sure. I'm not obsessed with it, but you know, it's what I have up here. And I also like to take this right in that inner corner to really liven my inner corners because that gets so dark on me. If you're wondering why my face looks really tan, I have a face self tanner on. That's why it doesn't look so different than my neck. That's what it looks like. Now what I used to do is I used to put concealer on and then I would set it with powder and then put powder foundation on, but now I don't have time to do the extra powder step and really I don't need to anymore. I just noticed that the concealer lasts really well with the powder foundation on top, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna be taking this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation. I did a review on this like when it first came out and I was obsessed with it and I still am. I've been using it all the time ever since that video. I actually have like five different colors just depending on how my self tan is looking and everything. So right now I kind of go back between 375 and Y415. Mixing them, doing one or the other. I think today I can be Y35 by itself, but we'll see. So there's Y35. They're the two colors right there. This one's just a little bit darker. All I'm gonna do, I take 
this side with the black sponge and I'm going to apply a little bit of both colors to my skin because I am a little bit darker at the moment. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and show you how full coverage this is. So I'm really excited because this video is sponsored by Makeup Forever and I love this powder foundation so much and they actually wanted to work with me after I did that review like months ago and I was like, uh, yeah, I'm obsessed with this foundation. I'm going to show you how it applies and how it looks on skin and how full coverage you can get with this product. It's available at Sephora and JCPenney Sephora's, you know, the Sephora's inside them and it's $38 and they have 30 shades, which is really nice. And then these also have mirrors in them, which is super handy. And I love this compact too because it doesn't shatter easily. You know, sometimes if the packaging's like super crazy and like fragile, it'll shatter the product. This does not. Before I get started, I'm gonna put my hair back really quickly. Also, a little mom tip that I just did. I literally just took the front half of my hair right here and washed it because I do not have time to wash my hair right now. So when I had like 10 minutes, I went ahead and literally sectioned off like this part of my hair, washed it, curled it, and it looks like I did my hair. It's crazy. Eyelash extensions too are like a game changer for moms out there. Listen, it takes a long time to get them on, but it makes putting your makeup on so much faster. I'm just going to use a little bit of both and I'm going to show you how much coverage you can get. This is a really buildable product, like incredibly buildable. You can just build and build and build and it doesn't get cakey. And it's so smooth on the skin and it's matte, but it's not drying whatsoever. I have oily skin as you guys know and sensitive skin, like the redness is my rosacea. This just keeps my skin nice and matte throughout the day and it really does provide the perfect amount of coverage for me. And it is also super, lightweight and I love this black side because I th I'm pretty sure said this one was more full coverage and this one is a little bit lighter coverage I could be wrong I'll put an annotation in here somewhere and let you know because it was on the packaging uh, but I always use the black side and I always get really great coverage and it's just super smooth you know how some powder foundations can feel dry and like tug at your skin this one does not do that it just glides over and gives you amazing amazing coverage I'm telling you like if you just put a regular compact on like powder this is just as easy as that and you get great coverage and it just doesn't look cakey it doesn't accentuate pores either which is huge for me you can see how well this just covers all that redness my rosacea again if you have a little extra spot you can just go back over and put this on top another thing i love about this is i don't take a lot of makeup with me honestly when i go out when i do my makeup in the mornings i don't plan on touching it up as I go throughout my day but the only thing I will take is this powder foundation just in case I need a touch up um, if I need to blot or something I'll just take it and I'll be good to go I love that it's really slim compact I literally put it in the back of my diaper bag and head out the door and then I also take my lip product that is one thing I do have to touch up is my lip product if my lips are looking crusted and busted we got a problem so I'm using a little bit more of 375 for my skin I did add just a tad of Y415, but not much at all because I don't need that much. This matches pretty well. And I do take it down my neck to make everything nice and even, especially if my self-tan is kind of busted and crusted, you know? Another thing that I like to do, especially if you're not going to do eyeshadow, is take this on my lid. You can see how light my lid is compared to my skin. So I'm just going to take this over it. And it adds some color and doesn't make it look so light, you know what I mean? So that is the foundation on. I really do love it. And I feel like as the day goes on, it looks even better on the skin. Like it just melts in and you look flawless. Now what we're going to do is bronze. So what do I want to use? I think I'm just going to use this Hoola Caramel. I really don't do too much to my skin when I'm trying to hurry up and get out. I'll just use this little Pat McGrath brush. I don't know what this is called, but it's a little brush that I got in PR. If I could apply anything bronzer, blush, highlight, it would be bronzer, then highlight, then blush. I love having bronzed skin, especially contoured skin. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then I'm going to go in with a highlighter. I'm just going to use this Benefit Cookie Highlighter. It's really nice and intense. Like I said, if I'm doing something very quick, I just take bronzer and then highlighter if I have time. Just gonna blend this out. Now what I'm gonna do is brows. 
Brows is another thing I like to be very easy because brows can take me forever. I'm actually getting them microbladed in February and I'm so excited. But I don't like to spend a lot of time on my brows. I just don't like doing it. So I try to do the easiest thing possible. And for me, it has actually been the Urban Decay Brow Blade. But I'm out of it right now. So we're just going to use a little bit of these Catrice brow pencils and then this Dior show pump and brow I really like this product this one's in the shade medium the only thing about these is they do go down quickly like you use a lot of product in a short amount of time but they are really nice and easy to use if you're really not into pencils this actually got me back into pencils because I wasn't really feeling it for a long time like I just thought they were too hard but then this formula just was so easy to work with so if you're not great with pencils, definitely try these out. They're only a few bucks. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of bronzer into my crease. I'm gonna use the same bronzer that I used on my face. Keep it really simple. And I feel like it just kind of ties it together too. But if I ever do eyeshadow on my eyes like day to day, it's usually just bronzer, just to add some dimension to the look. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply my lip product. Another thing I need day to day is caffeine. These Alani New Energy Drinks, Mimosa, so good. One of the liquid lipsticks that I know I love are these Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipsticks. They're actually really good. This one's in the shade Rebel Rose. I used to wear this all the time. Ooh, I want a little bit of this. Oh, this is Atlanta. I forgot about this. Boosh Lipsticks. This is Bite of ATL. That's really cool. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of this too, because why not? Last but not least, I have to set my face. Always, always, always. Now, normally I just use the Urban Decay All Nighter, but I am gonna use the All Nighter Solstice. The All Nighter is in my bag. I'm gonna put my hair back and just spray my face. Even though it's powder foundation, I still like to spray and set it in. And it helps kind of give it more of a glowy look too. So if I'm leaving at the house, all I'll do is take my powder foundation from Make It Forever, and then I'll take my lip color. So this time it would be the Bite of ATL from Bite Beauty. And I would just head out the door. That way I had something to touch up my skin and my lips if needed. But that is it. It is so simple. Since I have lash extensions, it is like incredibly easy. Don't get me wrong. I love liquid foundation. Um, but this is just easier to me and easier for me to like put in my bag and take on the go. I don't have to have a sponge, anything like that. Well, I have to have a sponge for this, but like not a wet, damp sponge. Love this. It's really easy, full coverage, great for oily skin. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was super simple and to the point. I figured I'll go ahead and show you guys my updated like mommy, easy, fast routine. This is what I do all the time. I'll be doing this tomorrow morning <laughs> because I have so much going on. But yeah, I hope you guys like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.